Okay, welcome back to another Source SDK 101 video tutorial, and today we're going to be focusing on prop doors. So, well, these doors look okay. They're not going to look as realistic as many of the doors you see in Half-Life 2. So the first thing we're going to want to do is grab our Entity tool, place an Entity, double-click him, and type in prop underscore door rotating supply. Now we're going to have to find the world model just like any other prop and hit browse. We're going to want to type for, I search for left, but you can search for door or anything. And you'll see you get a basic Half-Life 2 style door. Now what you want to do with this, unless you want, unless you like this one, you will go to skins and look through several of the skins. There are so many skins you can use for this door. I mean, there's up to 13 different skins for any type of map, any setting you want. So I'm going to grab this one. Hit OK, apply. And now you'll find your door. Let me just bring it up. And now you'll see that there's a, a ton of different things you can do with flags and regular object properties. But I'm going to keep all of this the same. Now, as you see here, I want to talk about hardware type, and it starts out with lever, which is just a regular door handle. And when you press E or your use key, um, the door handle will turn, and the door will open, and it will make a sound like any other door. Now, you can do keypads, and you can do push bars, or you can just have the door open by itself. I usually like to use the lever. Flags, I'm going to keep um, all these things the same. Use closes is what you want unless you want to be able to walk into the door and you can mess with some settings. So what I'm going to do is you're probably going to want to have a smaller grid size because it is a model. It's a bit tricky to get right. Now I'm going to take this wall and I'm going to fix it up so that it can hold the door. So let me just throw it in here. Now you'll see that this ball that you remember from using doors like this now that's still the same the door will rotate and end up like this so keep that the same unless you would ever want to switch it around but it would look wrong then so I'm going to put it right in the middle drag this wall in and we will keep it nice but you'll notice that the door is never as tall as you ever want it I'm using 128 for uh, my wall height, which is the basic wall height, but doors are 108.6, which is a very odd number for a door. So we're, we don't want this little hole right here. So we're going to put um, a little cover over the top, keep it nice. So oh, that's my dog, somebody's home or something, but you just keep it like that, basically, and you're done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.